Hello everyone, welcome back to part 5 of my Polio Dear Father playthrough. Remember in the last part, we escaped a miner, we went through some sewers, we found <laughs> out that... Found out, uh, my guy's name is Ryan, not Marcus, or sorry, Marcus not Ryan, Ryan is the friend. And we still have no clue where our parents are, and... I guess it's a dog. Anyway, I was gonna say that apparently uh, Marcus here is a civil engineer because we know how drainage systems and everything else work in industrial settings. So, good job there. What the? What? What? No. Okay. What looked like a dog and a helicopter. Why is the bush moving? Why is the... okay. I'm gonna guess... <laughs> okay. Okay, note to self. Don't move when the bush is shaking. Kind of like in Pokemon Sword and Shield when you're shaking the berries out of the tree. Uh, and it starts moving real fast. You don't want to shake it that next time because you're gonna get attacked. Same thing here. Just with dogs. They would put the one behind you to shake. Apparently these dogs have like... ADD or something. They're like, oh, we're gonna get them. And they're like, oh, where'd he go? You better run, buddy. They're angry. How's my batteries looking? Ooh, not good. Running low on batteries. But at least it's starting to look like we may be able to start finally getting some answers on what the hell's going on here. This is we're in a more civilized area, if you will. Though this does look pretty overgrown and wrecked. Which still makes you wonder what happened? Why is everything just trashed? Oh, there's a spinny thing out here. Uh, okay. Okay, I want to the spinny thing. Apparently not through here. So we're gonna go this way. Okay, they look hungry. So we are gonna go around. Yes, no. No. Up. No. Hush, puppy. Bad dog. I go over this. Around this. Okay. Hmm. I guess we'll go this way where the guy went. Oh. I see you in there, Scruffy. Scruffy the dog. Scruffy the janitor. My god. <gasps> oh, yep, saw that puppy. E. Aha. We are in another greenhouse. Van what the f Um Why? Why a lot the voltometer? Why do I need that? It's a snake. I guess I don't really need the voltometer it didn't let me take. That is beating me in the head. Just hold on. Just back. Ah. Marcus has no self, you know, concern. Throwing himself into dangerous situations to save his parents. Somebody drew a picture. And there's, again, nothing, nothing in here. Wow. 
All right, guys, left or right? Right? Cool. We got some kennels. Can't do anything over there. Damn. He did not die quick. It was a long death scream. Like something was eating him from the bottom up. Or he fell into a wood chipper. Man. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Oh no. I just threw down a battery. Oh well. All right, cool. We turned on a water tower. Not sure how that's going to distract the dogs. Maybe they're thirsty. They're thirsty boys. Thirsty doggos. Here, puppy. Here, puppy. No dog's evil. They just need a good pet. And there's some scritches. There's somebody to love them. All right, guys, be good. What did I just say? I said be nice. I'll name you Fluffy. The one that's gonna pop over here, I'm gonna name Skippy. Where? The bush isn't shaking. Just a little bit too slow. So what is all this key? Oh, am I lighting the water on fire? I don't think that would water. Not sure who stores gasoline in a water tower. Um, pretty sure that's some HIPAA and OSHA violations right there. Uh, definitely distracted the dogs. Blew out my eardrums. Uh, not sure how Marcus is still alive. Because that was a pretty large explosion to be right on top of. All right, sweet battery. Use. All right, now we're cooking. Hey, bring that, bring that right around here. It'll be a little easier for me to see. Thank you. All right. Everything's on fire. Fireflies. I know they're supposed to be like little embers. By God, I have made a hellscape. It is glorious. Oh, even the flower beds are on fire. Oh, there's the guy that was running away. Sorry, I sneezed. <laughs> ah, he tried to get me in that bush. Oh, you kind of caught the little shake shakes. Little shake and bake. We're just gonna get the hell out of here. Stop! What happened? Where? Why did why why did we not do that earlier? We're gonna be stabbing things. Shame on you, Marcus. Okay. Great. And I've lost my flashlight somehow. Uh, Marcus, you get the Klutz seal of approval. You have fallen down more than any protagonist should. It no longer adds dramatic effect. I just think you're super clumsy now. And I guess we're using, uh, oh look, the Brotherhood. Hey, it looks like we are uh, back in the fancy place again. All like, you know, marble and stuff. I definitely like that clock being there so you know if you're running late to work or not when you come into the office. 
Uh, super secure door right there, though. Woof. So, <gasps> we're back to... Hey, wow. you! Help me get out! Please! Oh, okay. Who are you? What are you still doing here? Come on, hurry! There's no time! I'll explain everything later. We have to force our way through this Somebody's door. alive! It's blocked. Oh. Okay. Usually people would say, oh, you know, do this if it's blocked, or not just stay silent. The first person who's alive and normal that we've run into? Knowing Marcus's luck, though, it's Dr. Scott guy's probably the guy that started all this shit. Let's find out. Alright. There's an elevator. Nothing, can, nothing to see here, apparently. More exploded heads. Definitely what I like to see. Uh, there's somebody screaming up a storm. Definitely a little off-putting. Give me Novocaine. Hey, Band-Aids. I recognize. I can read something. Oh, bandages. Sorry. Name dropped. Not sponsored by Band-Aid. It'd be really weird. Oh, yep. Yeah. We're tossed off this. I'm sorry I moved. And I owed it too fast to this tiny flame. Hey, that was the normal person. Maybe. He did run kind of jank. Oh, I wish I had my flashlight. What is... Craig Harrison, patient zero. Frederick, Fidelity Universe. Is this him? Oh my god. Um... Hey, it's me. You can see my shadow. Whee! Make little bunny ears. Um. Okay, they're cutting into a brain. Sciencey stuff. Now they went down an esophagus. Maybe. Anyway. This guy's legs are degloved, and that's fantastic. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that was weird. I, I can't see the light. Ah, yes. The uh, A times B over the W is uh, science. Well, that's a... Huh. It's just on a loop. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, look, we can go back in. Okay. That was a thing that just happened. Holy crap. Apparently he's not friendly. Hey. God, he runs like a toddler, like stomping his feet. And then I'll quite not pick him up all the way. Is that me walking around or is that the creepy dude? I don't like... Not just the sounds of feet slapping. Just slap it in the breeze. God, there's awful noises coming off from up here. Psychology. Doctor, doctor. Hey! This guy was just crushed in these sodas. The chag, yeah. Chag, yeah. <laughs> However y'all want to say it, he died from a sugar overdose. He went out on his own terms, and I like that. You know what? 
you're a diabetic or something, and you know, or you have like a fruit allergy, and you know some sh crazy shit like this is going on, you know, I respect you going on your own terms and not being murdered by a monster. Ah, uh, yes, quotients, I don't understand. Uh, because I am not great at math. This guy got a little too excited with his Kool-Aid. Uh, oh, no, oh, never mind, his throat's cut. Oh, well, at least these two people love each other. She's reaching towards him, caressing his cheek. Like, oh. Just, a, you know, a sick, twisted Romeo and Juliet in this crazy, you know, crazy world we're in right now. But I'm... Mm-mm. But I'm glad they can at least find love. Do I look? Do I look? Ah, oh, I feel like I'm gonna regret this. Oh no, he's he's right there. Yeah, no, we're not going over there. I saw his back. God, I hate the doors. Anything? No. God, that big guy's so loud. Don't pop out at me. We're gonna shut the door behind us. Not that it matters, because he just like dumb rushed through the doors. Uh, I don't want a key. Anything in here? I want as far away from the creepy Bernie dude as possible. Okay, there's a safe. Five. Do I need to find pictures? Is that what I have to do? Oh no. So I'm guessing the last number is five because it's right by the saver. It's the first number. Uh. I'm either looking for three or four numbers. I doubt it'd be any more complicated than that. Oh, oh no. Where did those come from? Um, the rating of my game just jumped. Those are coming out of our, you know what? We're just gonna leave that to the imagination. We are not gonna discuss where those tentacles have come out of. I can make many assumptions. But I'm not. Maybe they're just like a tail or like a butt plug, like a pinnacle butt plug. Like a battery. Uh, that's just what we're gonna call it. I thought there would be a picture in here. How wrong was I? So we got five. We have the number five. And the number thou shalt count shall be five. Four. Is this just gonna be one, two, three, four, five? Um. Can I just go here? Why are we screaming? Did it move? I'm not going over there to find out. Fuck that. I'm what you call a weenie. Oh no! No, no, no! Oh no! Why is she here? No! No! Go, run, you fool! You bitch! Die, ah, you whore! Run, you fool! Oh, you woman! No! Mom, stop! Mom, no! God, she is pissed! Ah! Uh. Oh my god, run! 
Three. Okay, three. Three, four, five. And somebody hung himself over there. Oh no, there she is. Oh no. You coming? Do the goal. <laughs> Again. Show you my karate skills. I just need another number please oh that's the way I need to go <sighs> you know what woman hey a bathroom I missed let me guess gore in the toilet oh there's a security guard and another battery no gore We raided the toilet paper, Jesus. We're gonna use this. And no, oh my god. Come on. Are you done? Three, one, four, five. That's where we're going with three, one, four, five. Dude, you better go. Three, one, four, five. If there's a fifth number, we're just out of luck. I don't know how I got so lucky and missed her all the way up until this point, uh, but she is pissed. Three, one, four, five. Three, one, four, five. Are you joking? Just stand guard over the safe now? Come on. Am I gonna have to get the gold? Yeah, yeah. Don't you come in this room. Don't you come in this room. Why can't this be like a, you know, real list where I have to throw something down the hall or something, hopefully? Okay. Oh my god! She's admiring the, pe the work of art. She's trying to figure out the code for herself. She wants whatever's in that safe. Maybe it's the cure. Maybe it's her child. Why would it be in a safe? I don't know. She's still there. Uh, come on, pitter patter away. Oh wait, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get her to chase us. Oh no. This could either be really bad or really smart. No! It was really bad. Oh no. That's not fair. No, no, come on. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. 
Uh, yeah, uh, no, I'm gonna come bonk her on the ass. Ah, bitch. That's right, you chased me over here. We're gonna watch a movie. And then I'm gonna run around. Stow your ass in there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's relentless. After much running around and her litching the heck out, I've got the code. She's not stalking the safe. So we're gonna see what that or that part of the key is, and we're gonna get on out of here. Alright, it was three, one, four, five. All right, we're just gonna run. I'm gonna shut that door, and we're gonna hit that. No! Are you kidding me? Where was that first one again? I think it was in that room back over here. I don't want to listen to her yell more. I'm pretty sure it was right here. Hey. Now we're just gonna run. Because we've already opened the safe, we already got the key, we already got the room open. All we have to do is flip the switch. They ain't getting us again. What a weird place to keep these switches, by the way. Oh, someone sounded angry. Oh. She's coming. Anything worthwhile in here? No. Just an angry, angry guy. Alright, lady, I know you're in this room. You're not gonna scare me, you're just loud at this point and obnoxious. Alright, we're gonna juke her. Yeah, buddy. All right. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, I can see myself doing that in real life. Just <laughs> and just glide into the room next to you. Where you at, lady? I know, life sucks. I'm pretty sure that's my guy's mom. I don't think he realizes it yet. Go, 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 go. Let him out! What's the point of doing all this? It's all over for me. Go now and save yourself. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, why is he giving up? It's all my fault. Oh my god, it's all my fault. Hey, answers. What are you talking about? Hey, come on, calm down. Take a deep breath. You're one of the scientists. <sighs> I'm a doctor. Dr. Scott. I developed the CC09 drug. Open the little door. Disciples go forth by the human trials. These results were promising. Oh god. 
We had to do it. But Craig, a few days after he took the drug, he died. Oh my God. We were about to go to phase B when he unexpectedly woke up. He had a strange looking marks on his body. He was completely out of his mind. Answers, answers. Now the situation was out of control. Craig attacked the guards and anyone that happened to be at his way as he managed to escape. Craig is coming. Yeah, take this. You'll need us for the elevator on this floor. Run! Run! I'm running! Run. I'm right here. That was a long run. Is Craig the girl or is Craig the guy with the creepy fingers? Okay. Okay, that was a lot of noise to be greeted with a new floor. Uh, and the baby's back. Great. Now that things seem to calm down a little bit, we're going to head wrap up episode 5 of my Fully a Dear Father playthrough. Again, I'm Mr. J. If you like what you see, consider giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and consider hitting that subscribe button, it'd mean a lot, and it'll help you keep up with the future games I'm going to be putting out. Thank you for joining us, and I'll see you in the next one.